A couple months ago, I made a video about the best and the worst home centers to buy wooden lumber. I compared prices and selection and quality and convenience, and then I invited you to share your personal opinions in the comments. That video generated a lot of really interesting discussion, and I promised to make a follow-up that focused on tools. Well, this is that video. Today, I'll rank the three major home center chains in my area based upon some of the tools and other supplies that woodworkers like myself use the most. I'll tell you which I think is the best and which is the worst place to buy power tools, saw blades, rudder bits, glue, wood finishes, and general hardware. And I'll share some hidden gems that are worth driving a little further for. Once again, this is based on my personal experience, and it may vary from store to store. And I invite you to share your own experiences in the comments below so others can benefit from them as well. I'll be focusing on the three major home centers in my area, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Menards. None of these stores or brands sponsored this video. In fact, I made some covert visits where I just took photos with my phone so I can kind of stay under the radar, especially since some of what I'm about to share isn't all that complimentary to some of these stores. Now let's get started. Power tools are a big part of many garages and workshops, especially handheld power tools. I used to buy cheap stuff from places like Harbor Freight, but I soon learned that it's worth investing in a little better quality, especially if you plan to use them on a fairly regular basis. Now since different home centers seem to be exclusive to certain brands, you might choose where to shop just based upon the brand you favor. This is especially true with cordless power tools, which sort of lock you into a battery system that keeps you loyal to that brand. I personally prefer Makita cordless tools because I like their 18 volt system because it's wide ranging and I can get a high quality brushless version of some of the tools that I use the most. Makita isn't exclusive to anywhere, but at least in my area, Home Depot is really the only of these big three stores that carry them. Now, while I use Makita in the workshop here, I use the less expensive but still decent Rigid brand in my garage at home. So with Makita and Rigid being mostly at Home Depot, that's definitely the place that I go for cordless tools. In fact, I think Home Depot has the best lineup of solid brands of the three. Rigid and Milwaukee are exclusive to them. Makita is all but exclusive, at least in my area. They also carry the full line of DeWalt and some Bosch. And of course, they carry Ryobi. But as I said, I prefer the slightly higher quality of Rigid for my garage tools. I personally think that Lowe's lags behind Home Depot when it comes to power tools. They do have a lot of DeWalt, and they have a little bit of Bosch. But other than that, it's pretty much cobalt and flex with them. And while some of those may be solid tools, I'm just not willing to get locked into their battery systems. They do also carry Craftsman and Black & Decker power tools, but you may as well go to Harbor Freight if you want that kind of quality. So that brings us to Menards. They have some Bosch, and they do have what few Porter Cable tools are still on the market, but that's about it for major brands they really push their Master Force store brand. I've bought a few of those over the years, and I haven't been overly impressed. Don't get me wrong, for light use, they can be a decent value. I'd compare them to Ryobi. But if I'm gonna use a power tool for more than a few years, I try to stay away from the discount brands. And that includes their Rockwell, their Tool Shop, their Skill, and their Black & Decker tools. So when it comes to power tools, at least, I'll choose Home Depot first and Menards last. Incidentally, I'm going to be making a short video about the tangled web of shenanigans and cross-branding that these tool companies and box stores employ, like how certain brands like Milwaukee and Rigid are actually the same company, and why some brands are only available at certain stores, so check out our channel in the coming days for that video. I also regularly head to home centers for power tool accessories such as bits and blades. And once again, I'm likely to drive past one store to get to the one that stocks the products I prefer. At the risk of sounding like a Home Depot fanboy here, I have to say that they are my first choice in this category too. And it mostly comes down to one brand, Diablo. 
While there are better saw blades out there, I'm a big fan of Ridge Carbide myself in the premium blade category, Diablo are excellent values for the price. And I do recommend them to anyone in my audience who's on a budget, but they still want something halfway decent. The same can be said for the Diablo wavy rimmed Forstner bits. You should really try those out if you're looking for a little bit more of a budget bit that's still good quality. They may be one of the best bits that you can buy in Home Center. What I'm not a fan of is Home Depot's Avanti Pro line. I really think it's worth spending the little bit extra money to go with the Diablo. Lowe's doesn't have Diablo, but they do have Bosch, which owns Diablo. See what I mean about the incestuous relationship between brands? I like Bosch bits and blades. I don't mind DeWalt, which Lowe's carries too, but I'm not a fan of their Craftsman bits, and I really have no experience with their Apex stuff, which is a division of Crescent tools, and I know Crescent isn't what it was many years ago. Menards, though, is my last choice for bits and blades, because while their CMT router bits are decent, and they do carry some Bosch, they really push mostly their Masterforce and Performex stuff. And I'm just not a fan of discount brands when it comes to something as important as bits and blades. Their other big brand is Irwin, which aren't bad, they certainly were really good in the past, but I'm unlikely to drive out of my way to get them. The best sandpaper in the world, in my opinion, is made by 3M, and all three stores carry some 3M sanding products, but none of them carry the best type of 3M sandpaper, their Cubitron 2 sanding discs. If you still haven't tried these out, I will link to them below over at Taylor Tools. Just grab a sample pack. It will change your life. Well, maybe that's a little dramatic, but you really should try it out. I'm unlikely to go to a home center for sandpaper unless I run out of my 3M Cubitron. But if I did, I would, once again, and I swear this is not sponsored by them, I would drive right to Home Depot because again, of their Diablo products. Dollar for dust, Diablo sanding discs are the best you can buy at a home center. And I know I am not alone in this opinion. Now, if you hate Home Depot, and I know from our last video, some of you do, that's fine. Or if you don't have one nearby, Menards does sell Norton sanding products, which are pretty good as well. And their Gator brand isn't bad, but it's not as good as Diablo. I generally will stay away from their Performex and their Masterforce sanding products because again, the discount brands just don't seem to last. You can find Gator at Lowe's, but it's not worth driving all the way to get it if it's not nearby. And I definitely don't recommend their Craftsman sandpaper. So I'd say Lowe's, at least in my area, is not the place to go for sandpaper. So far I have been favoring Home Depot and Menards and Lowe's have been kind of fighting for that worst home center spot. But when it comes to wood glues and finishes, things are less cut and dry. That's because all three of them carry many of the same brands or at least products that are very similar. So since our focus is on woodworking, let's compare interior wood finishes. All three stores have the Zinzer shellacs and the Watco oils, but the stains and poly finishes are where they separate at least a little bit. Home Depot carries Verithane products, Lowe's carries Minwax, and Menards carries some Minwax, but mostly Verithane. Honestly though, I don't find a great deal of difference between Minwax and Verithane. If I have time to order it online, I'm usually going to go with something from General Finishes anyway. So if I have to buy wood finish at a home center, that's a rare occasion, and I'm just going to grab something from whichever one I happen to be closest to. The same is true with wood glue. I tend to use Tight Bond the most, and all three home centers sell the Tight Bond wood glues. But if I walk into each of my local stores right now, I guarantee that Lowe's is going to have the largest selection of wood glues on hand, including all the Tight Bonds, as well as Gorilla Glues and Elmer's wood glues. Not that it matters to me, because as I said, they all have the Tight Bond that I use, so I suppose this whole category is better left just as a tie. I'm not going to drive out of my way for any one particular store to get wood glue or finishes. We could do this all day, but nobody wants to see me inventory a whole Home Depot store. So let's just do one more category and then we'll wrap it up. This one is fasteners and general hardware like springs and bearings and all the stuff woodworkers use for making jigs and specialty furniture. 
Once again, all three home centers have decent hardware aisles, but I do have my favorites. If I need a spring or a spacer or a bearing or some other odd bit of hardware, I am always more likely to find it at Menards than at either of the other two home centers. Menards also display some of theirs in sliders up high, which are easier to browse through than the drawers down low that the other stores have. I also like that Menards sells nuts and bolts in bulk bags at decent prices, so you can build up a stock and have lots of different sizes on hand. And they sell drywall screws with a Robertson head, which if nothing else, confuses my Canadian viewers. Home Depot has a smaller selection of the miscellaneous hardware, and like I said, I'm not a fan of the drawers down low that they keep all that odd stuff in, but they sell a wider variety of construction screws, and I will hold out until I get to a Home Depot if I need to buy those. The worst home center for fasteners and hardware, in my experience, is Lowe's, but not because they have a poor selection, they don't. But I just have a harder time finding it in there because of the way they organize it, and if I ask an employee to help, I can guarantee he's just gonna stand next to me and search with me, because he doesn't know where it's at either. I know more than you. All right. Now this may be unique to my local Lowe's, but as I said, these opinions are based on my personal experience, and personally, I don't go to Lowe's for hardware. If you were keeping track, in the categories I just covered, Home Depot took three firsts and one second. Menards finished with one first, one second, and two thirds. And Lowe's got two seconds and two thirds, which technically makes them the worst home center for tools and woodworking supplies, in my opinion. But that doesn't mean I always go to Home Depot and never to Lowe's. As I said, I will drive past one store to get to the one that has what I need in that specific category. And as the previous home center video showed, my favorites change completely when it comes to buying wood. If you haven't watched that yet, I'll link to it below. Please leave a comment if you have anything to add to the discussion. I really want to hear it. And before you go, you got to check this out. Some folks are a pleasure to work with, like Ken Rizzo over at woodturnerswonders.com. That's where I get my turning stuff, like sanding supplies and CBN wheels for my grinder. Seriously, if you haven't seen what CBN wheels can do for you, you are missing out. I'll put a link below this video. Use it and tell Ken I sent you.